Hello YouTube, I just want to do a quick review on my son's BMW F800 ST. Believe it or not, I get to ride it quite a bit. It's kind of nice to have access to two motorcycles. So let's start at the back. So it's belt driven. ABS. Up here you have a show rear shock, which is adjustable by the turn. It's pretty simple. Turn signals are just like a Harley. To turn right, you hit the right one. To turn left, you hit the left one. To cancel, you hit right here. And it cancel turn signals. It has a two stage. Heated grips, which is you have dual brake. disc in the front, ABS Brimble brakes, six speed gearbox. Maintenance on this bike is very simple. Here's your drain plug, and right over here is your oil filter. You have to do a, a, a valve inspection slash adjustment at 20,000 miles. I think it needs a little taller windscreen because tall guys, even my son, were getting hit right in the chest with. Uh, with wind from this windscreen. Probably gotta change that windscreen out. So this little bit battery tender thing that for to, to charge your cell phone up or anything like that, you wanna unplug it because it will continue to charge your phone even if the bike is off and it it will kill your battery. The clutch is very simple pull. It's not hydraulic, it's very simple. Very easy pull. Brakes are phenomenal. BMW brakes are always great, I think. And I've ridden Beamers for years, right along with the Harleys, and I'll take Beamer brakes over Harley brakes any day of the week. And even though Harley just came with that link braking, you know, BMW's done it for a long time. So the bike gets about 180 to 200 miles to a tank of gas. Riding position is, is okay. The seat on this bike is very, you wouldn't believe how soft this seat is. For a sport touring bike, great seat. Good little Almost bike. A four gallon fuel cell. You get about 200 miles, 180 miles of tank of gas. Um, we have the Go Cruise on this bike. I'll show you how that works. I think it works great. My son likes it also. The only thing that I know is with the bike that you're gonna need a little taller risers. Bring it up a little bit. That way you're sitting a little more upright. You have the info button right here. So when you come inside here, excuse the fingers, you turn the bike on, and you have the time, the mileage, miles to empty, you get a, a um, gear indicator light, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, um, what else you have on here? It has a tire monitoring system on here. It just has an array of information Probably more information than what you would actually need, but it does have a lot of info on here that is uh, pretty interesting stuff to go through, giving the rider a lot of information to deal with going down the road. Once again, this has tire monitoring system on here, TPS. I believe the front tire, I think, takes 32 PSI, and the rear takes about 41. Um, up on the computer they go by bars for some unknown reason on BMW you would think they would just put a simple indicator with how much air pressure you have in the bike but they're not doing that this bike has a center stand on it which is an amazing thing for maintenance well see this is a 2007 my son was looking at a power cruiser the M90 but he got in this bike here and actually fell in love with it it's a 2007 BMW uh, it was $7,000, believe it or not, out the door. Tax title and license with a three-year warranty, and the bike only had 5,000 miles on it. So what a great deal for his first um, street motorcycle anyway. So let's do what Cycle Cruiser says, and let's, take, let's go for a ride. Okay, let's start this Beamer up here. Doing injection, everything's good. Oh, why do I have a concert light on there? Okay. All right. Actually, the bike, believe it or not, is pretty comfortable. My arms are bent. My arms aren't locked in. The seat is very comfortable. I'm not used to having my feet back like a jockey. Um, this windscreen comes up, and it is hitting me right dead in the chest. Make a change on this windscreen. So 
So once again, the turn signals are like Harley's. You turn right, you hit the right indicator, and then to go left, you hit the left indicator. And then there's a cancellation button right there on the side where Harley's have self canceling turn signal. Uh, the mirrors aren't too bad, and they're not adjusted for me, but you can see around you, okay? Mirrors aren't too bad. You can see around you. The brakes, once again, on the BMW are great brakes. Down 